I constantly tell my fishing stories to anyone who will listen in the sports department. Now this past week, I got a chance to go out on the Delta and compete with the pros. 300 fishermen bolted out of the Stockton Marina at 6.30 a.m. My pro partner, Wade Hedrick of Salt Lake City, drove like Tony Stewart at the Daytona 500. How are you guys doing? Unfortunately, pushing the throttle did little to catch fish. <laughs> See, this is what sucks is when you're supposed to be the pro, you know. Oh, uh, don't film that. Eight hours in the water and not a single fish in my net. I fished with one of your guys' local uh, news people, uh, Dennis uh, O'Donnell uh -huh. from uh, Channel 5. Unfortunately, he didn't catch any. Um, he's a good news reporter. Uh, fishing, he's got a lot to learn. <laughs> Wade pulled in 13 pounds, 13 ounces for a 55th place finish. Four pounder. Show the mouth right here. It reminds me of Roberta, our weather person. This is a difficult thing for professionals to, to do, right? I mean, it's a hard, hard thing all day long. And then to, to come up with 13 pounds when you're looking for 20, that, that's a grind. It is. It's a, it's a grind. You, you spend a lot of money and uh, spend a lot of time coming out here and preparing for this stuff. And when uh, the elements change or the wind direction changes, it changes your bite. So everything that you got going in practice all of a sudden becomes obsolete and you are starting all over again. People. And that's what happened today. The pro leader did show up, just not in our boat. Charlie Wire, West Hills, California on the pro side. Five bass in his bag today. 32 pounds and nine ounces. Whoa, set him over there. Okay, I didn't catch a single fish. Sean Minderman was the big winner on the Delta this weekend. He takes home $31,000 and a new boat. <laughs> we'll be right back to wrap it up.